Hello and welcome to the channel. We are going to be talking today about a piece of kit I've had for a little while now and um, we're going to be talking about the Warrior Assault Systems Low Profile Direct Action Mark 1 Shooter's Belt. Um, this particular one is a multicam but we will mention the other versions that are available and um, we will be talking about this um, in detail and my thoughts on it and how I have it set up. So, before we kick off, um, please, if you like today's video, hit the like button. If you would like to see more of our content, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon to be informed when we post new content. So with that, let's get on with the, uh, the review. So, we're going to be talking about um, this guy here. So this is um, a piece of kit that was released by Warrior Assault Systems earlier in the year. And it is a pack um, of a Warrior Assault Systems low profile molly belt, along with a number of their sort of uh, pa uh, pouches and, and so on, that are commonly used with the shooter's belt. Um, and it's essentially it's set up in the configuration which they pretty much have it to be honest um, on their on the kind of literature and it is actually a pretty good setup so let's sort of talk about the component parts of this belt and this setup so the first thing we're going to talk about is the actual belt so this is this guy here so I actually have two of these belts and I'm going to use the other one to kind of show you what some of this looks like under the hood. Now, basically what we have on this belt is panels. Each of these panels have rows of molly webbing on them. So they have two rows, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then they have a gap, which is essentially one um, webbing strip high. So effectively it's three molly uh, strips high in total. Each of these panels um, velcros onto a back element. This back element um, is used to sort of house a, another belt which you use to fasten around you. So, the, uh, and I'll sort of mention this uh, and so, sort of now, is you can buy the low profile molly belts separately without all of the pouches on, and that's what I did with this one. Um, and then you can buy it in two formats. One, with just the the low profile molly belt and second with what they call the polymer cobra belt which is basically what comes with the direct action kit i in this instance didn't buy the polymer belt with this one i decided to use another belt which is the same width and this belt just fits into this gap um, in parts it does kind of velcro in um, and essentially you just sort of encase the belt in this and then close things up and, and so on. You've got um, two panels of two molly width um, here. Then you've got a much larger section of molly which goes over the back. And then you've got two more small molly panels on the end. Um, and I'll just move this out of the way. So effectively you've got two, you've got two, and then a single large panel at the back, which is this width. And that basically has um, all of your pouches attached to it. The belt, uh, the shooter's belt that basically we're going to be looking at, has this say, this is the polymer cobra belt. Now, the polymer cobra belt um, is essentially just a very thin belt here. It does have um, hook and loop on it, Velcro, um, which is just there. And that's used to size this. Um, it comes in two sizes, a medium and a large. This is a large, um, and the large basically, um, so just sort of um, cover off the sizing. So the medium goes um, from, a, from a 34 inch waist, um, and then, so I think it's actually two of 34 inch waist. And then the largest from the 34 inch waist and bigger. So, um, so th up to 38 inch waists, um, if memory serves. Um, this is a large. Um, it's pretty sort of comfortable on me. Um, the thing I think that does that changes is literally uh, 
this bit here. I think that's the only thing that changes. I think it is this is the same, or it might be smaller on a, on a, a narrow waist, waist um, but effectively um, you, you've got a two different sizes. I say um, I, I'm a I'm a large, I have the large size, uh, and I'm a 34 inch waist. So. Um, Cobra clip, quite easy to fasten, very easy to release, as you can see, just pops in, two clips, um, it's super easy. Um, my my other little um, belt, which is actually a wrapped tactical if memory serves, uh, same sort of micro um, Cobra clip, it fits in quite nicely uh, as well. It's a bit thicker on the other belt, but it still works in this, but this is quite a thin belt and it works nicely. Now. Um, this is just uh, the sort of base panel and on the back of this we have a big strip of velcro now that big strip of velcro actually attaches to this guy here and I'll just open this up so this this guy here um, is a stiff and it is really stiff uh, really stiff in a belt now you basically with this your um, pant loops um, on your your belt loops on your pants sorry um, fasten this through um, this basically um, sorry, goes this way around um, essentially goes on and it attaches to the base there um, when you when you're actually fastening it through your your pants to your body you will actually use this sort of like this um, so you'll kind of actually fasten this closed like so so you'll have that and that that will then go on top and then that will basically um, clip in so this is actually a little bit loose but effectively that's what it will look like with the inner belt and the inside all fastened up and this is able to support quite a bit of weight um, without moving doesn't sort of come off I have found if I'm wearing a backpack that's quite low, so I do have um, a warrior backpack which is quite low, it will hit on the back of um, the mag pouches if you've got a mag in them. However, if you're using the BMF Bergen, um, it's a, there's a ton of clearance between the top, the bottom of the Bergen and the belt, even with mags in, so you won't have any problems with it getting pushed down. Um, but I say if you've got a backpack that sits quite low on your back, with the mics in at the back here it may push it down and you may feel it kind of pushing your pants down um, it won't the belt will not come off the velcro but basically what you'll feel is the belt is being pushed is pushing the back of your pants down as opposed to it's coming off uh, which is good because it's it means it's solid um, but effectively it does mean it kind of potentially push your pants down if you are using a backpack which is um, pretty um, pretty low on the back so let's just take this off okay sorry about that um I'll put that to one side so that's the inner, that inner belt um essentially goes through your pants and you say it fits it on there um it is really quite low profile it's much lower than battle belts and you can load it up kind of as much as a battle belt to be honest i do have it quite heavily loaded um and i have it in this sort of setup so uh, basically let's start from from the, my right so and go to the left so the pack the direct action shooters belt pack comes with the universal holster from warrior assault systems um this holster is a great piece of kit even if you buy it by itself um it is and i've literally got i think five of these now um, in different sort of colors and so on um, but it's a great little um, holster you can put any any pistol in there this is being set up for my mp9 um, but you can put pretty much anything in here you can adjust this it's got the sort of standard warrior adjustment system so i'm going to pop this out and it's sort of velcro is enough and i've just really messed this up now um, but um, basically you've got the velcro system here that you kind of just you're actually supposed to put it around the gun take the gun in 
um, and then you sort of pop that in, pop that over, pop that over, and then fasten that in, and that's secure. That you get um, with the belt, you do get a replacement um, mechanism parts for the, um, the, the this uh, release system. Um, basically, there's um, new rubber for the bottom and some other bits and pieces, but essentially, uh, you have everything to sort of maintain that. It's great, I say, great, great holster. Um, I've got uh, several of them, and they are really, really good. They work with any pistol. Um, that's, I say, the MP9. I think the only pistol I have um, that doesn't work with this is the Mark 23, because the Mark 23 is pretty large. Um, but it will fit with my PPQ, um, my high cappers, um, my novice SSP1, um, yeah, and my HK45 it fits with as well. Um, not very good resciences, but essentially it's a great, great uh, holster. Next up, and this is um, how I have it set up, is it has a small utility pouch, the horizontal version, two zips, um, quite a nice size pouch. Um, inside there is a little section um, for stuff, kind of two layers. Um, I basically keep in here um, a little battery pack for emergencies, um, blanks for BFG. Um, I will put snacks in there as well um, for if I'm doing skirmishes or something that I just kind of need some stats. If I'm carrying tag rounds or doing using the tag launcher, I will then fill this up with tag, tag rounds and I'll get about five tag rounds in here as well as these two items here as well. Um, those are kind of the minimum things I keep in there. Um, but then say you can swap out stuff if needed. So you can put in snacks, you can put in um, tag rounds, anything you kind of need. And you've got a little section. I wouldn't recommend putting the phone in here um just because there's not that much padding in this um if you if you do get a bb strike and the phone's in here you might damage your phone so next up we have the ifac this is the ifac pouch that comes with it um it is the warrior standard ifac pouch um just velcros out it's got a little pull um so if you had this as a proper first aid kit you'd have your first aid kit in there you'd use this just to yank the thing out in an emergency um, I use it for sort of my little battery case that I carry around with me. So I have a little pack of batteries. Um, so I have two uh, CR123s and a gun battery. And then I have a little uh, cleaning cloth for my, my glasses. That pops in there like nicely and just folds away. And if I need a tourniquet for Milsim, I drop the tourniquet in there in the front. Close that up. And that's that's done that's pretty handy it doesn't move around a lot it's a great little thing next up you have the warrior um, compact dump pouch now uh, that's a great little thing on the on on here and i i do have this one in uh, coyote tan as well as multicam now the reason why this is really handy is it is narrow this is it stowed away and as you can see it takes up um, actually, it only takes up one row of molly technically, but it's about the width of two rows. And, and bearing that in mind, compared to how on the other belt, the other belt I have, this is the, the Mark II dump pouch that Warriors do. It takes up five rows of molly uh, going across the top. Uh, it's you know it does stow quite flat, but it is you know a, a really nice dump pouch, and it can take a lot of stuff in it but it takes a lot of space this say so takes nothing and to use it you just pop off the sides like so pop off the top flop it out and you've got your dump pouch um, it's got a, a little drainage hole at the bottom it's kind of a rectangular shaped thing it's got a nice um, supported opening um, it's I wouldn't say wire but it's a nice stiff um, sort of thing it's fedora it's not lined like the other pouch the other pouch has got a lining 
uh, this is straight material um, it's nice pouch good seams as you can see the seams are all um, have a folded stitching on them it's it's a really well constructed pouch uh, it's got some velcro panels on the side and just kind of fix it uh, uh, fold it all back up you just kind of drop like so roll it closed and then just do that and it's back in its stow position and it's really really tidy next up we have uh, essentially two uh, 556 style uh, sized taco pouches um, they're not technically tacos because you know they're trademarked to um, high-speed gear I think um, but essentially they'll take any um, magazine that you've got that is 556 five, it'll take bigger ones as well because they are adjustable um, but I find this works quite nicely I run um, generally speaking I will only run with one of these with a mag in them and the others there as an empty space for the mag that's in the gun um, this will usually be my last mag as well so and the event that basically yeah I my chest rig uh, this is my last last stand magazine as it were and I say so I use this empty one for putting in the the, the mag from the gun um, but yeah it's it's quite a nice um, mag pouch very easy to sort of get in and out um, it's, I say it's adjustable it does have this adjusting mechanism here which is essentially just elastic um, cord uh, with a little, I can't remember, little toggle thing here. So the little just, adjustment toggle thing here is, is really, really handy. As I say, you can adjust this um, you know, to fit most, most of the magazines that you might have. And then finally, on the end here, you've got a pistol mag. Uh, this pistol mag is pretty versatile, again, because it's this sort of taco construction. You can take a uh, pistol mag that you've got for, for instance, this is the MP9. Uh, that just pops in there. Uh, it's held pretty well, um, nicely uh, held there. Takes very easy to get in and out. The other thing this will take as well, this is the M M MP7 magazine for the Tokyo Marie. Um, and it will also fit in there. Um, and it fits in quite nicely. It is a little bit, it does stick out a bit more, but actually, to be fair, um, if you look at that compared to the magazine for the uh, for, for the for the five five six mag, um, they are the same height, so they don't protrude too much, um, so to get in the way. So that's actually pretty handy. So if you are running an MP seven, you can drop your mags in there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of. Um, the belt it is a really nice belt um, I do like it so a couple of things I've noticed about using it you know if you've got magazines in here um, and you are running a pack um, it might push down on them if the pack sits quite low but uh, generally speaking it's pretty good um, I, I say I have this in two uh, two of these uh, both in multicam one I have set up for kind of more sniping use and this is kind of my uh, direct action type setup. This belt um, set up the direct action shooters belt is available in multicam and it's also available in ATAX uh, 9 or ATAX IX. Uh, the underlying belt, this guy here, is available um, to buy standalone in multicam and in uh, Coyote Tan, but it's not available in ATAX. Um, strange enough. So if you wanted an ATAX, you have to buy the shooter's kit. In terms of cost, so um, in terms of cost for the direct action shooter's belt setup like this, um, they say it's available in two sizes, medium and large. Uh, they're both the same size. The cost of this is £190, £189.95 at the time of recording. Um, that basically means um, you are buying uh, the underlying belt, the various pouches and the, the universal holster 
just to kind of give you an idea of value, um, the belt with the uh, Coyote polymer belt and the sort of Molly belt, um, the cost of that standalone is £99. Okay, so the underlying belt that, that, that this is built from is essentially a £99 belt. Then if you kind of look at the pouches, um, we are looking at um, a sort of kind of varied sort of uh, thing. So these tend to run about 20, 25 pounds of each, maybe a little bit more. Um, and let me just sort of kind of get an idea here um, of this guy here. The So the universal holster is 45 pounds, okay? So the universal holster is 45 pounds by itself, right? So you've got that. So that's 45 pounds, 99 pounds for there. You're already pretty close to being value for money given that these all now all add up um, to probably a good 80 to 90 pounds. You are basically looking at something that's probably, if you bought them separately, you're probably looking over 200 pounds worth of stuff um, to build this. Um, but as this set up, it's, uh, it's 89 pounds. 189, sorry, 189.95. Um, so it's a really good value. I've, I've, I say I've used this quite a bit. Um, I run it um, milsim. I run it on skirmishes, and it, it just works for me. Uh, works really well. Um, you know, you can take these off and add stuff. So on my other belt, and the only reason it's not on here at the moment because it's on my plate carrier is I usually run my grenades on here. So I have two 40mm grenade pouch, uh, which I stick there. Um, and then I have um, my tags and stuff in here, my pistol, and then um, I've got my dump pouch, and I typically stick my tag launcher in the plugging pouch. That's the reason why I have the big dump pouch on here. Um, and then I'm running a chest rig, which has um, magazine pouches for my sniper, and my pistol mag. So I don't run pistol mags on here. I run my tag launching tubes just here, um, just sort of here on here at the end. Um, and then I have my tag launcher just there. So they're kind of next to each other. And I put tag rounds in the um, the, the utility pouch. Um, and it is a really, I say, it's a really versatile belt. You can do a lot with it. Um, and it is great value for money. Um, so with that, um, I'm going to sort of tie things up. Um, so this is the Warrior Assault Systems Direct Action Belt Mark I Shooter's Belt, as it were. Um, it is $189.95 from UK Tactical at the moment. Um, I will put some links in the description for this belt uh, on the UK Tactical site, and I'll try and see if I can find it um, outside of the UK. Uh, for those that are viewing from elsewhere, um, so you guys can get it as well. And I'll also link to it on the Warrior Assault Systems website um, if it's on there. But there we have it. Uh, a great piece of kit, really, really useful. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's working really nicely for me and I enjoy using it. So thank you all for watching today. Um, I say if you found this use, uh, video useful to you, please um, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. And um, we will be posting more content um, and some more Warrior Salt Systems kit um, in the coming days. Thank you and goodbye.